Just around the corner from our Downingtown Brewery flow the headwaters of the Brandywine Creek. These beautiful streams not only flow into our great beers, but also make up a delicate ecosystem known as a watershed. In celebration of this vital resource, we created our Headwaters Pale Ale, and alongside it, the Headwaters Grant to fund environmental stewardship programs. This past April, the Stroud Water Research Center, together with the Guardians of the Brandywine, used our grant to hold a lesson on stream monitoring and determining the health of our waterways. So, there's three, three little circles we can look at. We can look at the chemical. What's in the water? What's the, how clear is the water? Is there a lot of oxygen in the water? Um, how much stuff is dissolved in the water? The other thing we can look at is the physical. What's the bottom of the stream look like? How much light is coming in the stream? How fast is the current? Um, what's the temperature? And how does that relate to maybe some of these other things in the chemical arena, if you will? Today, we're specifically looking at the macroinvertebrates. Macroinvertebrates are the insects that live on the stream bed. Many of them are very sensitive to pollution, so finding creatures like this free-living caddisfly mean that the water is in pristine condition. Our lesson moved out into the stream for some hands-on research. In our stream study, samples were taken safely from various sections of the stream to be recorded and then released. Good. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty clean. Yeah, I learned that the stream is alive all year. I kind of thought that it hibernated you know, in the winter, but it doesn't. Everything lives. A uh, long time ago, I realized the most uh, precious thing on earth was uh, fresh water. And the Upper East Branch of the Brandywine is drinking water for us all. Uh, and uh, a resource that uh, is right in my backyard that uh, I knew I needed to uh, help protect. Back at the Wallace Township building, we separated the stream life by tolerance to pollution. There, we learned what makes each one different and important to the quality of the stream. It turns out that the Brandywine East Branch is incredibly pure. What are those little things on the side? Are they the gills? Yeah. Okay. They just, if it's a different species of mayfly, these gills are going to look different. I always liked biology, and we lived next to a creek when at my old house, and we would always spend time down there. So, yes, it was just learning more about it, something I was interested in. And just like we talk about biodiversity, that's the health of the planet. It's the same as a the stream. There's biodiversity in the stream. And you want to look at the invertebrates because they're the biggest things living in there. Victory Brewing Company is proud to support watershed stewardship and encourages everyone to learn more about the ecosystems where they live and do their part to protect these beautiful resources. Cheers.